Hi, thank you for joining me for day 22 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And today's sketch you can see in the top right hand corner is by Melinda Sweetman. I'll leave all her details below along with um, the details of the playlist where you can see everybody else joining in on this hop. And today I'm documenting a photo of my son in his new pyjama bottoms that I'd made for him way back in August 2011. And he was just so proud of them. <laughs> I really love this photo, so I wanted to document it. So I'm using Vicky Bootin's print shop and also pulling out some of my Ellie Studio um, previous monthly kits because these cards work really nice on the blocky layout that we've got here from Melinda. I love doing these layered um, mats, I suppose, isn't it? Layered photo mats. And I haven't done it for such a long time. It was great fun to do this. And my photo is larger than the one that Melinda suggested in the sketch. And it means that my mats aren't quite the same as hers. I'd definitely like to try this again with a slightly smaller photo. I feel like I've ruined the shape <laughs> that Melinda created. Hers is absolutely gorgeous and mine definitely spreads out more over the entire page. But I'm still pleased with the finished look. So you can see I'm just pulling out varying papers to um, add my mats and layers behind the photo. And I'm trying to keep them more or less in the positions that Melinda, Melinda's put hers. Um, I'm sticking to the greens and yellows and blues. They're the colours in James's bedroom and in the pyjama bottoms that I've made. So I'm um, just trying to focus on those colours. And the two Ellie Studio cards that I pulled out, one says, this is my favourite with a heart on it. And that is just perfect to add as a complete three by four card. And then the other one has houses on and obviously he's at home. So I thought that would work nicely as my journaling spot. And I've just hidden the orange house underneath, not because I don't have orange in the layout, because obviously the card next to it is orange, but I didn't want to have too much there. And I really liked the tones of the cool tones of the other three houses. So I just, I hid the last one there. So continuing to build up my mats and layers, trying to get them straight. That's the only problem I have with the layout like this. Um, everything is quite straight. So I'm having to double check myself. And when I glue them down, I will use my T-square ruler to check that everything is correctly in place. And I'll glue all these mats down before I start embellishing the um, layout per usual. So almost there now with the matting and layering. I just wanted to add another little bit down here. So just bringing in this green paper. And um, that's the beauty of this. You can use li little scraps for a layout like this. And you can also just keep going and going and going, <laughs> adding more strips and colors and to, um, bits and pieces until you're happy with how it looks. So I'm just going to go in with my wet glue here so that I've got the time to move things around and also um, I can keep everything more or less in place and just add the glue and go around as I go. Because I know it would be impossible for me to get this back together again if I took it apart. <laughs> I still managed to knock things about though as I'm doing it, as you can see. I don't know why I was desperate to put that orange um, Project Live card on a slight angle. I don't know why. I suppose it's just what I do with most of my layouts, but I managed to glue it straight in the end, so <laughs> it's all good. Just finishing off gluing these bits at the bottom down, and then I shall turn it over and add glue to the back to get it stuck down onto the white cardstock. And I'm just using my usual plain, smooth white cardstock here as my base. So still moving things around. Luckily, a lot of these papers have lines on them, so it's easier to line them up than just um, random patterns would be. I am struggling with that yellow piece a little bit at the bottom there, but I get it done. So just making sure there's glue over everything. And now I'm going to, as I say, add glue all over the mat and then get this stuck down on the background. And because it's quite busy with all those different layers, there's not a huge amount that I add in terms of embellishments, but just enough to pretty it up if you like. And once it's glued down, I decide that that green strip to the left-hand side of the photo is a bit too green, and I wanted to bring in some of this black and white just to break it up a bit. I think because I've got green on green there, that was the issue that I was having. So just checking that everything's stuck down. 
And now, first of all, I'm coming in with this orange embroidery smile tab that we sell in our bits and pieces range at Hey Little Magpie, and also this fabric flare badge that says Superstar. It's perfect green for this layout. And then I'm just bringing in some of the other bits and pieces that we sell, the um, padded stars, and then some 49er Market pieces from their Essentials collection, the tickets, and that lovely um, film strip frame. That special notes piece is cut, uh, one of the very old Ellie Studio cut apart pieces. And this wood veneer piece that I'm gluing down is paper thin. They're absolutely gorgeous from JD 3D Print. They're available at Hayleth Magpie or on our Etsy shop as well. And um, it's just great because it doesn't add too much dimension. They would be great for traveller's notebooks and things if you um, didn't want to add the dimension that you get from flair. If you know me, you know I love circles. <laughs> Anything circular works. So just going around and gluing all these bits down. That blue ticket is from the Art Options Elena collection. I pulled it out for a previous layout and didn't use it, so it's just sitting on my desk. So I thought that would work nicely with this one. And I know that I'm going to stitch down that fabric um, smile piece, so I'm just leaving that till a bit later. Brought in one of these gorgeous small stars from our bits and pieces collections. And now you can see this is from one of the Ellie Studio die cut sheets that come in their monthly kits. Their monthly kits are absolutely fabulous, I love them. I'm going to try and use them a little bit more. So this is a little tag, so I'm just gluing it there. And then these lovely chevrons, I'm just adding two of those to the top because I didn't really want to bring the purple in, I haven't got it anywhere else, so just the green and red. Just getting those stuck down. And that sort of balances out that heavier bottom right hand side that I've got on the photo. Another one of our fabric tabs from Hey Little Magpie. Just a green smiley face, makes me so happy. <laughs> I love these. And they're great just to add around your photo as a little tab. So this is one of the suede smiley faces that we've also got at Hey Little Bank Pie. I'm just bringing that in for another different texture and dimension on the layout. And this is where I'm going to work on that fabric label. So I'm just using some wax twine from Hey Little Magpie and I've just added some crosses, two at the top, one at each end and then three at the bottom. So you can see I'm just finish, finishing off that one at the top right hand side and then I'll just finish it off with some tape to hold down the end. And you can see I just taped down the end at the beginning as well. And now adding my journaling, which says new pyjama bottoms I made you from a self-drafted pattern and you could not wait to show them off. I think you like them. <laughs> that smile, honestly, it gets me every time I look. So I'm just going to finish off now with a little bit of doodling. So adding some pluses in this bottom left hand corner and then again in the top right hand corner. I added my date on that special notes label just handwritten. I want to add some string of course to my tag there. So just using the same wax twine that I used to stitch that smile label on. And I'm just going to tie this in a bow. Just trying to move everything into the right position. <laughs> that string did not want to stick so I just tucked it under side of the label and then just some finishing bits of these little stickers from the 6x12 sticker sheet just some black and gold stars and then some word stickers around the bottom right hand cluster and also just one underneath that um, journaling label there too so that's the one that goes underneath and that just says this and then I've got one that nestles next to the flare badge that says the best. And then underneath that to the right, special and memory. Still going in with those stars as well. Just have to glue that one down.
And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this process video. I appreciate all your comments. Um, ask if you have any questions at all. I'd love to hear from you and I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye.